Welcome back to the channel, I'm Brody. Today, I'm showing you how to properly wash and store your camouflage. Set free. Set free, right here, like this. Step one in scent control is all about before the hunt. Before you even wear the camo outside, if it's brand new, you need to bring it in here to the laundry room. Now, during deer season, I'm really particular about what's in the laundry room and I'm not using a bunch of different detergents and stuff like that. Most of my clothes, even normal clothes, are washed in scent-free soap just because I'm really particular about scent control. Now, first step, let's say you got brand new clothes, brand new towels. I usually run a set of towels first in the washer, okay? So let's run our towels. The detergents, the dryer sheets, I really don't have a preference. This is what I use right here, nose jammer. Pour some detergent in here, and uh, I usually run my camo on cold. Word on the street is cold is, uh, it kills more odor than, than warm water. So I open that dryer up, I'm gonna take some field spray. Again, I have no preference, I like nose jammer, but use whatever field spray you like. Get in here and spray down this dryer. Try to kill any extra human odor that's in there. You know guys, I know this is a, a tough one, but if you have a separate washer and dryer for hunting clothes, I highly recommend that. If you need to wash your hunting clothes, you really need your own day to kind of run that load and keep the scent out of this room. It's really important. Some may say I'm crazy, but I rarely get smelled by deer and I take everything very seriously. So try that out. Separate washer and dryer, maybe. If not, work with your family members to make sure you have time to run all your clothes and um, keep everything scent free. So, I sprayed down this dryer. I'm gonna take these towels, we just ran the load. I'm gonna throw them in. And then we'll use one of these dryer sheets. And we'll start that load. Next, my camo. So those were just the scent-free towels. I always run the scent-free towels first. Next, I do the camo, okay? So I come back here with all my actual hunting clothes, which I have a lot more. It usually takes about five, six loads. Um, so I throw all those in. I'm running it on cold again, using my laundry detergent. And in the meantime, whatever load you have is in the dryer with, you know, scent free dryer sheets and you sprayed it down. So I'm in here washing my camo, all that's going, run it on cold, boom, boom, boom. Take the towels out, dry the clothes, same process. Spray the dryer down, dry your clothes. And then once everything's complete, we'll take everything in a scent free container back to where we store our camo. So there you have it. I showed you how to wash everything properly. Remember, towels first, Spray down that dryer really well. I'm washing everything on cold, and then you're throwing in your camo after those towels. Then, once everything is dried, remember you're using these uh, dryer sheets to dry everything. Once everything's dried, you're putting it in a scent-free container, and then you're essentially putting on your camo from this scent-free container. I never store my camo outside of the scent-free container during the season. After the season, put your camo wherever you want, um, during the season, scent-free container, wear it, put it back in here, then to the washer and dryer if you need to. I only probably wash my camo under certain circumstances. If, if I sweat a lot or if I'm out and I actually kill a deer, just a few times that I wash it. Um, other than that, I keep it in here, but in, in a grand total, it's probably once every two or three weeks during the season, I'll, I'll wash my camo. Um, and then on top of it, I do have an Ozonics. They make a lot of different ozone machines now. It's not only Ozonics. Ozonics is obviously the, uh, the brand. They have Scent Crusher and, and some other really good companies, but I've always used Ozonics. I really like this. I hang it in my tree when I'm hunting, but I also use it in these scent-free containers. So before I hunt, just to kind of freshen everything up and, and kill as much odor as possible, I'll put this bad boy on dry wash and then I'll stick it in here. I'll, 
try to clear up some space in the, in the container and uh, I'll run that on dry wash for a bit. I think it runs for five or 10 minutes. So then essentially it kills all that human odor in the container too. Make sure you do all these steps properly and I promise you, you'll see a lot more deer in the woods. You'll get smelled a lot less. Thanks for watching the video today, guys. I'm Brody. Stay tuned for more.